Oh wait, you think you're the superstar? What is for you? He's a cutie. Hey, what's up? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bailey. This is my channel. I'm gonna be doing today my most requested video ever. This has been nonstop since I started on YouTube. Like what is in your makeup kit? So that is what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So, okay, this is what I wanna break it down into, okay, you guys? I'm gonna be doing two different videos. This one today is going to be what is inside my kit and I'm also going to do a video showing you my kit setup because I think that'll make a little bit more sense to anyone who's new to makeup or if you wanted to become a makeup artist or if you are a makeup artist and you're just nosy like I am. All the stuff that I am gonna be showing in here, if you are a new makeup artist or you're just starting out or if you're just accepted your first client and you're like freaking out like what do I need, you do not need everything that I have in this case. And I do wanna also mention that this is my freelance kit. So this is the kit that I will bring with me if I am doing like just like headshots, um, like a wedding, if I'm doing just like a glam, um, if someone's hired me to do their hair and makeup. I don't have my hair kit here. That's a separate video, okay? So this is different than the kit that I would bring on set with me to like TV or film or like a commercial or something like that. This is a little bit more like beauty based, if that makes sense. So just be aware of that. This isn't what I bring with me everywhere. I also do want to mention the stuff that is in here is my like, this is like the skeleton of my product that I use. So if there's a specific palette that I want to use, I'll grab that palette and I'll add it into my kit if I want to create a certain look with something. Or if there's a specific glitter I want to use or what have you. So this is the case that I use. This is by NYX. I actually bought this in 2015. <laughs> really funny story is when <laughs> NYX didn't ship to Canada yet, so I had to get a PO box down in the States in order to ship it there in order for them to ship it to me. It was very expensive. I think this thing was like 300 and fifty dollars but I have had this thing since 2015 I really love it it fits everything I need into it another thing I want to note is you don't necessarily need a, a makeup case you can definitely use a suitcase you can use just a carry-on bag over your shoulder you can use whatever kind of container you want to use to haul your makeup around with you I use this one because I'm just in Winnipeg throw it in the back of my car, it's easier for me, and I like the inside of it, which I'll show you in a minute. So keep that in mind as well. Don't stress about having to have like a specific makeup case, okay? This one's by NYX, I adore it. Um, it's actually very sturdy. When I was reading up reviews on it, I remember back in 2015, I think a lot of people said the handle was kind of janky. Never had a problem with it. The wheels are still going. I pull this through the snow, the Manitoba winter. So this thing is pretty sturdy. On the sides, it does have Velcro. So you could Velcro something to the sides. I've never utilized that because I think that's like odd. No? Yes, of course we have a boy. Okay, you have to get down though. The handle back here does come up and it comes up pretty far. So it's great for me. And it does have wheels on the back and then like stilts in the front here. So let's open this puppy up, okay? Boy, I need you to get off, please, for me. Okay, let's open her up, okay? So on the lid, it has three of these little packs and it has these little straps that'll actually hold the lid up, which is pretty nice. Let me do the front here. Do, 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 do. In this front little flap, it actually has this mesh kind of you see this, this mesh area? This is where I keep my lashes. I'll get into that in a minute. So the products that I keep in here, I keep in here because it's functional and it's easy to grab. All of these bags Velcro onto here so you can quickly remove them and it's super simple. So in this first little pouchy bag, I keep kind of my eye products. So I keep my brow products in here. I keep my gel liners, my cake liner. Um, my mascaras, I have a few different mascaras that are in here. I have a brown one, just a regular. I have brow gel. I have a little tight liner. Um, I also have one of the NYX brow mascaras, which I find this color looks great on everyone. It's brunette. I also have some, I, I carry different, um, different products for the brow. So I have a brow pencil. I also have brow powder. And then I also have these little Inglot, um, 
brow liner gels. So I have different products for different areas. This is the one thing that I will cheap out on is waterproof mascara. Um, I just get like the essence one because I don't, I don't ever find that I'm trying to like build someone's lashes up with waterproof mascara. So I'll bring a nice like Too Faced Better Than Sex, but my, mas my waterproof mascara, it's just like cheap essence. So that is what is in my first little cubby. In my little second cubby, this is where I keep all of my glitters and some of my primers. I use glitter a lot when I'm doing people's makeup. I think that it's just a fad that is in, not a fad, but like glitter is amazing. It's just a trend that is current right now. So I keep a lot of glitter in here, some glitter glue as well. I really like the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners. These are amazing because you don't have any fallout. The gold one I use nonstop. I also have a couple NYX loose glitters in here as well, a couple MAC ones, and then I love this Inglot product, this Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in 118. It's so beautiful. And oh, I also have some Inglot Durline as well, just in case my liner needs a little zhuzh. So that is what is Last but not least is this third guy. Now in here, I keep a whole bunch of products that people may need when you know, you're out and about. So in here I have Band-Aids, I have Advil, I have Tide to Go, I have an extra pair of scissors, I have extra hand sanitizer, I have tampons, floss, um, nail glue, I have tissue, I have razors, I have some on the spot brush cleaners, some um, beauty, sanitizers oh i also carry with me a couple little vials of fragrance because you just never know i have some pads in here i also have some mouthwash just you know kind of like toiletries that someone might need and you'll have okay so that's what i like to keep it's really important that makeup artists do carry this kind of stuff with you because you are going to be the one that has that stuff i was doing a commercial in the summer and i had a container of wet ones and lo and behold they needed the wet ones to clear off the stage so it's like we had boys like wiping off a stage outside with wet ones and if we didn't have wet ones the stage would have been dirty so as a makeup artist you're kind of like responsible for carrying that kind of stuff with you so that's my top area sometimes these will change like i sometimes like replace this one with a bag and i'll put like my lip liners in here it really depends on the day and my mood and where i'm going you know so let's talk about this flap that is right down here so this is where i keep my eyelashes i also keep some masks down here as well i use a variety of different lashes um i'm always buying new lashes you go through them a lot. So right now I have a ton of Kiss lashes and then these lashes for days. I've been really liking these. In your kit, you mostly need like wispy lashes because a lot of the time when you're doing people's makeup, it's their first time wearing lashes or else they want something natural. They're not gonna want like a giant lash that I have on. Sometimes they do, but most of the time they just want like a nice natural wispy lash. So make sure that you have a ton of wispies with you. To literally contradict what I just said, I have a ton of kiss lashes that are a little bit more bold. I have some bolder ones and then some more natural ones in here as well. I just like to keep a variety with me because again, you never know what someone is going to want. So lots and lots of lashes. Apart from just strip lashes, you also have to bring with you some individual lashes because there will always be that one person or that one little area of the eye that you need to just stick a little individual lash on there. So make sure you bring a ton of individual lashes. I have different lengths and different thicknesses here. It's just a variety. You have to be prepared. And then last but not least in this little pouch, I do bring with me a little container of... Boy. And then lastly, in that pouch, I do bring with me a little sachet of wet ones just in case. And then I also bring with me a couple masks because when a bride is waiting for their makeup to be done, I sometimes like to put a mask on their skin. I'll just like evaluate like what's happening, if they need to moisturize, if they need a little pore refining. Um, so I just keep these e.l.f. ones here. I love these masks. So yeah. Let's go through my little compartments down here now. So this is more face stuff. Up here I keep eye, lip, all that kind of stuff underneath this towel. Here I keep the big heavy stuff because it's at the bottom of my case. 
makes sense. I like to have everything in its own little cubbies, as you can see, so they're all in their individual containers. It's just much easier that way when you're setting up and taking down. If everything has its own compartment, then you can just throw it back into your case. So at the top here, I actually bring, or have my bring, of course I bring it with me, but I have my brush belt at the top here. I got this brush belt from Furless Cosmetics. I love this brush belt. I posted on my Instagram the other day and I had so many DMs, like where is that brush belt from? It is from Furless Cosmetics. I love it because it's big, holds everything I need, and it does up really nicely with this little clasp, so I really like that. Now, I bring a ton of brushes with me, um, especially if I'm doing a wedding. There's nothing worse than having to wash your brushes in between a client. So I bring enough brushes that if I'm doing a wedding party of, I have seven foundation brushes in here. So I can do seven people without washing any brushes, which is amazing. But like I said, if you do not have that, and if you're just starting out, you don't need that. But it is, it's a really, it's a great time saver as well. Um, so just keep that in mind. So this is what my brush belt looks like. I'll get more into this in my setup video, but as you can see, I have a ton of foundation brushes, blending brushes, and I keep a bunch of hygiene stuff in my brush belt as well. I have some spoolies or mascara ones, some powder puffs, um, Q-tips. Where is my hand sanitizer? Oh, it's not in here, but I typically have a hand sanitizer in here as well. Tweezers, all of the stuff. I also keep these little Velcro hair bits in here because it holds back people's hair and they just think it's the coolest thing. I also keep lip balm, my sharpener, everything that I, all my tools I like to keep in here. Sometimes people have it laid out, but I find if it's all in here, I can just pack it up, throw it back in my kit and everything is together and it's easy for setup and clean. So that's my brush belt. Now onto the more kind of exciting things. Um, let's start off with foundation. This is my cream foundation and concealer compartment. Right now I'm currently using the uh, Cover FX Power Play foundation. Again, you don't need all of the color selections if you're just starting out. I just, I, I want to just keep reinforcing that because I feel like a lot of starting out makeup artists feel like they need to have everything in order to work and you don't need everything in order to work. Like trust me, when I started out, I had like five foundations. Okay, so this is what this looks like. I carry quite a variation of foundations with me. Um, and then I have the concealer. So I'm currently using the Power Play Foundation and then the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Also in here I have the Krylon Derma Color Palette, which is just a color correcting palette. I also bring with me a couple MAC um, concealers as well, because I like to mix the Urban Decay with these. And then I also have this, um, NARS Illuminator. I love mixing this with foundation just to give like a nice glow if you don't want to be completely matte. I know some makeup artists will break down their foundations into smaller vials, but for me, if I'm bringing this large container with me, I may as well fill it with foundation. So that's why it's full. Okay? Okay, honey. I'll talk about this one underneath before my hygiene stuff. So this is my powder container and in here I keep a ton of powder foundations and various powders because you do need to carry with you a couple different variations of powders. Whenever I finish a face I always love to just powder it a little bit with a nice powder foundation. I just find that it just gives it just gives a beautiful like finished like almost like that Kim Kardashian flawless look to a face. So I have with me five different shades of the Too Faced um, cocoa powder foundation powder foundation. I love that powder foundation. I also carry four different shades of these little tubs of powder. Some of them are Ben Nye, some of them are Makeup Revolution. I have a neutral set, I have a banana one. I also kind of created this color because I needed something that was like between banana and a neutral so I mix a couple powders together to create my own. I do carry with me this NYX Born to Glow um, highlighter. This highlighter is just like life so I make sure I have that with me everywhere I go carry an HD powder, just a regular setting powder. And then I also bring with me this Ofra, this is like, what is this? Face and body mineral shimmer, mineral shimmering powder. A lot of brides like this on their skin. It just gives them like a nice illumination. And then down under here, I also have, uh, you can't see it, but I have a giant disc of a really kind of like deep bronzer underneath there. 
So that's all the powder I bring with me. It seems like a lot, but I really do use all of this stuff and that's why I have it with me. If I didn't use it, it would be gone. Now this is kind of, I should have maybe showed you this first, but this is my like hygiene pack. So this has face wash, this has moisturizer, this is eye cream, this has pretty much any kind of like skincare item that you need in here. That's what's in this little guy. And I have all like really teeny tiny little little one so obviously you do need some face wipes I bring these MAC ones with me just because they were on sale so they're almost done I also have some, I also bring a few cotton rounds I don't bring the whole container of them I just put some in a little baggie and that's what I bring with me here's all the goods okay so <laughs> I have so much stuff in here and I'll go through this more in depth um, in my setup video but um, here I just, it's hygiene. Like I said, primers, moisturizer, I have a lip scrub, I have a pore filler, I have an oil, I have some lip gloss, um, disposable wands. I have anything and everything that you need in here. It's a lot. But I do use all of this stuff, like to be honest with you, and you need it because if you're gonna have that one person that needs a hydrating primer, and girl, I got the hydrating primer. I also teach quite a few one-on-one -on -one makeup classes. So I do have in this little, I don't, I don't, I forget what this was in. It was in a bag of mine, but I do carry with me this little portable mirror. This is NYX again, just because I was at an event and I got this mirror and this mirror actually lights up. Can I turn it on? It lights up, which is really nice. And I just bring that with me. So if I'm teaching a lesson, people can have it in front of them so I can get them glam. That's all of the undercarriage. And now let's talk about what is actually in here. So this is like a little deep set pocket that comes up to here and you can just place things in. Do you guys really need an explanation of this? I don't think so. Move it a bit closer so we're nice and, it's a nice tight shot now. So whenever you're setting up, you do need to bring with you a towel or something to put down. Um, you don't wanna be that disrespectful person that puts your dirty like palette on someone's nice counter or table. You do need to protect it. So always bring with you a nice clean white towel. White towels will become your best friend as a makeup artist. So be prepared to be buying lots. I wish you guys could see what's happening in here a little bit better but I'm just gonna tilt that over so you guys can see what's happening. So in here, I don't really have a ton of stuff. Like I said, I bring with me what I need. If there's a specific look and I wanna bring another palette with me, I'll do that. But this is like the bones. I'm, I've already said this. Anyway, let's talk about some boring stuff. I have in here a container of alcohol. You need to use 70% alcohol in order to sanitize. Anything higher will dry too fast and what it won't sanitize okay you have to have a little spray bottle of i'm not gonna spray because boys here of 70 percent alcohol i also bring with me a setting spray this is the d slick by urban decay i know there's a lot of like do setting sprays work do they not like i love using a setting spray because I've, if i've accidentally i don't know overpowdered or whatever setting spray i'll just kind of like bring it back to life so I, that's why i love setting spray i also bring with me this little container this little glass jar i love this because when i'm done with my brushes i will not put them on the table i will put them in here so they're standing up i just think it looks really messy when you have brushes all on your station so i bring with that with me and then a little bit of brush cleaner this is a tiny little container but I always fill this up with one of the giant ones that I get at Sephora this is the cinema secrets brush cleaner it cleans on the spot it smells fantastic um I've used it since I became a makeup artist and it's just the best brush cleaner so cinema secrets I also bring with me a mirror as well just so when I'm finished they can look at themselves and see what I did and see if they like it see if I, they want me to change anything Again, it's a NYX one. <laughs> Can you tell I worked for them for a very long time? I also have this Suva container, and I wanted to mention this. A lot of people will, instead of using a brush belt, will just keep their brushes in one of these containers. I don't like that because I find that it um, morphs your brushes. I just like everything in a brush belt better. It just seems cleaner for me. I don't know, I just, I love a brush belt. But I actually do bring these with me because I keep my beauty blenders in one. I carry four of the blue beauty blenders with me. 
And then in this guy, I keep my eyeliners and my lip liners. And I really like this just like sitting out on the table so I can just pick at it. But sometimes I'll actually put them in here. It just really depends on the day. It depends on how I'm feeling and how I'm wanting to work and how I want to set up my station. And then if like I dig all my beauty blenders out of here, I also have another little container for my dirty brushes to sit in as well. And that really helps separating your brushes between clients also because you have one for dirty brushes and another one for another set of dirty brushes. So it's really nice. Highly recommend. I also bring with me a little light. This just helps illuminate folks if I want to take a photo or whatnot. This is actually by Arbonne. This just helps. And if I need like to see something, it's better than putting my phone light on because I can like keep this on while I'm taking a photo. So highly recommend carrying around a little light as well. Lip products now before we get into all of the palettes that I have here. I'll quickly go through this. Here I have two just little like, these are just like shitty containers. In one, I carry lip glosses. I carry a variety of lip glosses. I have some plumping ones. I have like a Laura Mercier. A lot of them are sheer, um, but that's like the majority of what people are wanting. Again, if something, if I'm going into like a shoot and I know there's like a specific one, oh my God, I might go into my collection and, you know, grab that and bring it. But for the most part, more sheer lip glosses, that's the majority of what people are wanting. And then I also just have a container here of some liquid lipsticks because those are very popular. So I have one of kind of like each shade range that I could possibly use. You coming in here, boy? Come on. It's not gonna fall. Okay. Then you go. Whoa, come. There's a big boy. This is like so unhygienic to have my cat on here, but oh, he's just going on me. Okay. Are you gonna go on me? Or what? Okay. So let's talk about the palettes that I bring with me now. Because this guy's gonna like knock this over. Hey? You crazy? Okay. This is the palettes that I bring with me. I do not bring a ton of stuff with me. Like I said, um, I know what I use and I use what I know, okay? And I think as a makeup artist, when you're overwhelmed and have like a thousand palettes with you and a thousand colors, it's just too much. And a lot of the times makeup, makeup is a lot more simple than you think it is. And I like to play around with different textures. That's why I have a whole bunch of glitters here. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. So I'll start off, I do bring the Kat Von D Shade and Light Cream Contour Palette with me. I use this a ton. I do really like to do a cream contour on folks instead of powder. As you can see in my powders, I really didn't have a ton of contour shades. I have that one big bronzer and that's about it. I do like to go in with creams like my foundations and whatnot and sculpt the face. So I bring that with me. I do have some... Inglot Freedom System palettes here, but a lot of the stuff in here is not Inglot. Some of it is and some of it's not. I just really enjoy the packages. So I have a pretty neutral palette here. I use this a lot for bridal. These colors are really great, very like earthy, very warm, um, and that's been really popular lately. So I go for this palette a lot and I use it quite a bit. Here I have two blushes, which are again, got a peach and then a more like rosy hue. And then these are actually like, I don't know if they're highlighters or eyeshadows. I use them for both. Have a little bit warmer, a little bit lighter. This stuff is all Inglot. Um, the eyeshadows, it's a mix of Makeup Forever and there's a couple Inglot. These two lighter ones are Inglot and I believe that these two browns are Inglot as well. And last but not least, I do have two bronzers here. These are the Too Faced um, chocolate bronzers. So I have the dark chocolate and then the milk chocolate bronzers. And that's it for these um, Freedom Systems. That's up. Now into my MAC palettes. I have a blush palette, I have a lip palette, and then I have a double-sided eyeshadow palette. So into my lip palette first, I created this lip palette on my own with the most popular shades that are requested. Um, again, I don't carry everything with me. I'm not gonna carry a blue lipstick with me because not everyone's gonna request that, and if I specifically need that, I'll bring it with me. But these are the colors that are most requested and I'll mix a lot of these together as well. So we have a lot of neutrals with a lot of different um, undertones. 
and that's my lip palette i don't know what else to say about that i just made it with my most popular ones this is pretty much all mac there's some makeup forever some urban decay it's pretty much all high end but this white is a nyx lipstick it's one of the macaron lipsticks or whatever so that is my lipstick palette my blush palette is all from mac um they're just some of my favorite shades in here and ones that i use really all of the time and then i do have a nice cool tone um contour shade in there as well so yeah that's my blush palette and i kind of i filled this with blushes that are all very different and i mix a lot as well so you can kind of create any blush shade that you're needing yeah now this eyeshadow palette is kind of dirty right now so please do not judge me on this all right all right all right so this is the palette that i created on my own there's some mac in here there's some there, there's a lot of everything there's some nyx in here as well but this is what it looks like and i use pretty much all of these colors and i have some random colorful ones down here um neutrals up until darks on this side and this is all mattes and then on the flip side this is all like shimmer tones and i have some gold some browns um wow this thing is so dirty i need to clean it so badly so that's my eyeshadow palette i'm really not sure what else to say about it you guys as you work as a makeup artist you just know what you go for and what you grab and i've kind of curated all of my palettes to be what i actually use and i don't carry around with me a whole bunch of crap that i don't use and i don't utilize that's why for me i really like making my own palettes like my mac palette and my inglot palette because if i brought with me like a random let's just say like the urban decay heat palette i'm probably not going to use all of those eyeshadows it's just a fact i'm just not going to but anyway that's just my two cents so that is everything that is in my kit i really hope you guys enjoy this video i'm actually going to set it up now so you guys can see what a workstation looks like and yeah, be sure to check out that video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I hope this answered some of your guys' <gasps> oh, hiccups. I hope this answered some of your guys' questions. Again, this changes all of the time, but this is like the bones of my kit. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.